somehow it doesn't uh, feels different when it pulls and everything. Yeah, my uh, old temp gauge is going haywire. I've been driving Miley around and so far I have put on 19 miles and no issues yet except for the uh, old temperature that uh, it's a very short live yeah it's not good you know what uh, let me see it goes to an oh yeah I gotta check the the negative uh, connections anyway but uh, the AFR it's a little bit kind of rich so what I'm gonna do I'm going to uh, pull the spark plug and see what I could read off from it yeah it's not also good to have a uh, too rich of a mixture that could also do some damage on the uh, piston rings and also the piston first start of the day I hear some uh, not clunking noise but I think it's a piston slap or something because once uh, it warms up it goes away I'm just hoping that it will be just the material from the piston uh, it does say that uh, it's normal to have a piston slap but once it goes through a uh, temperature it will goes away because that's what uh, I've been hearing and also I opened the uh, radiator cap twice already and sure enough I keep adding uh, water on it since I have I have put on 19 or 17 miles I think once it cools off then I'm gonna open it again for the third time and it should be that's it that should be uh, taking care of the uh, bleeding the system the coolant system I'm gonna pull this power plug and see what I can read off from it It drives pretty good. I don't really feel much of a difference when it was a 11 to 1 something plus compression ratio. Yeah, so far it feels good. It's, it pulls and everything. And I would not even know the difference. Okay. This is number one. It's really covered with black suit. Number two, somewhat different. The probe and everything and the uh, insulator, the ceramic insulator. Number three is the same as number two. Number four is the same. Yeah. This is number one. See the the probe right here. This one is all dark compared to this one right here. Uh, that tells me for the number one, it's either it's either too much fuel or it's just not being burned. 
I think I should stop uh, driving this thing around as far as the uh, piston rings being honed on the cylinder I think I'm okay with it I I didn't run into any uh, issues whatsoever for the last 19 miles that I have been driving it around town I think uh, I should be okay if I continued on within that hundred miles or so uh, I'm afraid that the number one cylinder will be filled with black soot. It will have a bunch of uh, carbon deposits before I make it to a dyno, and it's not good. I was debating if I wanted to use a three inch or a, uh, a two and a half, but I ordered a three inch. It's because I don't want a, uh, to use a, an expander. I just don't like having a, a three inch here, and then all of a sudden I have a two and a half. But we'll see. But I know two and a half, piping it will give you a good acceleration since i have a intercooler that is three inches i think i'll just go ahead and uh, just use three inch i tried to to make it as short as possible and i think that is it for this episode this is just about reading the uh, spark plugs and there is a difference. Yeah. The reason why I'm doing this, it's because of, remember, I changed my piston from, from a high compression to almost like a flat top. I was winging it that I could use my uh, current bass tune that I have on there to use it on the flat top piston and that's what it looked like and I'll skip driving this thing around before I can do some damage uh, this is where I end this episode and thank you all for watching uh, make sure to hit that like button and turn on your notification bell so you'll be pretty much like updated whenever I have a new upload on the G23 BK adding the sauce <laughs> i call it the sauce <laughs> all right i'll see you guys on the next bye everyone Later. right here there's my culprit right here this is the ground cable yeah it's just sitting here i forgot to uh secure it together with among other things the ground area let me fix that man it's a good thing uh, I start thinking about it for a moment there I was about to get me another sensor but no need I just need to uh, put that on and I'll be good to go Give it a start and it should be good. Yeah, it's working now. It's all good. I don't know where to put my uh, boost gauge. I was browsing around on eBay and I saw there's one that you could put it here. But I think it's too low that it might block a vision on this I have seen one where I have to remove this one yeah that's kind of cool but I just don't like having those thing exposed I don't know maybe uh, I'll do it like uh, Snow White I guess put it over here hmm I'll go uh, find out later on Okay, 
Thanks again for watching.